G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video, and today we're doing my full review of the Umidigi A7 Pro. Now before we get started, if you do want to pick one of these up, there are links down below. I'd appreciate it if you could support the channel by using more links. That's the first thing I want to say. And the second thing I want to say is, there is a giveaway in this video, and the winner will receive this Umidigi A7 Pro. So stick around, and I'll tell you how to win the A7 Pro later on in the video. So without further ado, hit that like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. And to start off the review, we're quickly going to cover off on the specs of this low-budget phone. In the engine, underneath the hood, we've got a Helios P23 from MediaTek. We've got 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, a 6.3-inch Full HD display, and a quad camera setup. So... 16 megapixel main lens, 16 megapixel ultra wide lens, 5 megapixel depth sensor, and a 5 megapixel macro lens. We are also looking at a 4,150 milliamp hour battery, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and 2.5D glass on the front and back sandwiched between a metal frame. And that metal frame leads me straight into the build and design of the Umidigi A7 Pro. Now, this is not too big. 6.3 inches, I'm back in the day, that was huge. There is no sharp edges on it. It is nice and smooth and easy to handle. The display is a 19 by 9 aspect ratio and it comes in two colors. You have your cosmic black and your ocean blue and that's the color that I'm giving away is the ocean blue. Now it has nice weight to it as well. I don't like my phones to be too light. I do like a bit of heft in them. It helps with photography as well as videography. So I do like to have a little bit of extra weight in my devices. And this is a good sturdy feeling device. And you know what I really like? It's got a fingerprint scanner on the back where it should be. Not in the display, not on the power button on the side, on the back where your finger automatically rests. Now the fingerprint sensor is not the fastest in the world, but by the time I reach into my pocket and pull the device out, it's unlocked. It also has face unlock, which isn't the most secure on any Android device, but it works relatively quickly as well. And if by the time I pull it to my face and my fingerprint hasn't unlocked it, the face unlock unlocks it pretty quickly. Now, some devices go too far, trying to be too futuristic. With the Umidigi A7 Pro, there's a nice balance between materials and weight. They're not trying to outdo themselves here. It's a good design, good build, and I'm happy with it. Okay, now we're talking about performance on the Umidigi A7 Pro. And like I said, you've got the Helios P23 by MediaTek. You've got four gigabytes of RAM. And for the most part, the performance is pretty solid. Now I'm gonna to have to pull it all up just here and just go whoa, 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 and remind everyone that we're talking about a $180 phone. Not a $500 phone, a $180 phone. So this has to be taken into consideration. So it's not gonna be the Galaxy S20 Ultra performance. It's gonna be more like a $500 range performance. I mean, you're talking about that Nokia 6.2 had some pretty poor performance on it. And the Yuma Digi A7 Pro is on par with that, but at half the price. So you really are getting some good bang for buck here. This phone punches above its weight when it comes to performance. Scrolling data heavy web pages causes a little bit of stutter here and there, but for the most part, it's punching well above its weight and most apps will scroll just fine. No issues with performance for me and gaming was possible on it as well. I mean, here I am playing Leo's Fortune, Asphalt 9, and a little bit of PUBG. PUBG, I started to see a little bit of that stutter here and there, but it was still doable on your low graphics settings. And your day-to-day -day scrolling and flicking between apps, not a problem. I mean, this is a phone that you can use throughout the day for all your needs. General media consumption was fairly pleasant on the Yuma Digi A7 Pro. Like I said, you've got a 6.3 inch display. So watching YouTube and Amazon Prime, Netflix, that sort of thing, it was a pleasant experience. I didn't have any problems with it. Now from performance, moving into software, because I do believe they tie in pretty closely together, we're gonna look at what we get. And we're talking Android 10. And the latest security patch on there is from April 2020. So we're not that far behind. I mean, there's some high-end devices that aren't even up to that point yet either. So it's great to see a fairly consistent approach to security updates. 
and we're on Android 10. Will we get more in the future? I'm guessing we're gonna get a couple of updates here and there. Now I did receive two software updates within 24 hours of turning the phone on, and one of those was critical to the camera working, but it was a sign that Umidigi is committed to updating the software when required, which gives us hope for future software updates. For the most part, it's pretty stock Android. And you can see from scrolling here, there's a few slight changes like settings, it's called services. And at the top of my settings menu, I do get this weird notification that I can't get rid of. But other than that, it's fairly stock Android and works as it should. Scrolling is fast, flicking between home pages is fast. In terms of gestures, there is only two gesture settings on this device, which I don't really mind. I'm a little bit old school, so I don't mind smashing on a button here and there. All right, now we're gonna look at the camera. What do you get? What do you get on the A7 Pro budget phone, quad camera, the budget quad camera king? You get a fairly decent camera for the price. Firstly, this 16 megapixel rear-facing camera takes really decent photos in good light. Not overly saturated, maybe a little bit overly sharpened, but I would expect that with this price range. And overall, a decent picture to be had from the 16 megapixel rear-facing camera. And the front camera is great for selfies and will get the job done. The shutter was nice and quick and the colors weren't oversaturated. As you can see, I went out and did some shooting one day. The ultra wide angle lens is fine as well. I mean, the colors aren't oversaturated. It's a little bit sharp, but you can adjust that in the settings if you want to do some edits before you post your photos. But wide angle photo is fine. It just opens up your shot for you so you can get a, a wider angle. The macro lens is a bit of a novelty, but it's good to see on a budget device You've got to be within three centimeters of the item that you're shooting and it will get a very close macro photo. Since we're talking about the camera, this brings me back to the giveaway. How can you win the Umidigi A7 Pro? All you've got to do is follow me on Instagram at, at cdubsmedia, then tag me in the comments down below with your Instagram handle so if you are the winner, I can let you know. Now it's not a DSLR, you're not going to win any photo awards with this macro lens, but it is fun to play with. It's an option if you want to use it, you can, and I'm sure you'll get some arty looking photos for your Instagram out of the macro lens. You're also going to get some 16 megapixel selfies out of the front facing camera. And look, going back to my caveat, this is a $180 phone. To get a 16 megapixel front facing camera that takes decent photos is a win-win for everyone concerned. And now this is Umidigi's lowest end phone. They have higher end phones that can do more, but for this price range, I mean, this is killing it. Now the front and rear facing cameras do 1080p and 720p video. This is the front facing camera on the Yuma Digi A7 Pro. This is the wide angle lens on the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 with the Yuma Digi A7 Pro. It's pretty stable. Okay, this is the standard lens on the Yuma Digi A7 Pro propped up with the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. And I don't think that footage is too bad. And this gives you an example of what it takes to just lift your image quality a little bit. A cheap gimbal and you've got really steady smooth footage from a really cheap phone. <laughs> Spielberg with this video camera, but you're going to be able to catch the videos that you require, family videos, that sort of thing. You're not going to miss anything. And as always, with any camera, the better the light, the better the image. So take that into consideration. If you're filming in low light, whether it's video or photo, you're going to pick up some grainy photos. But for the most part, in good light, it's a win win. Battery. And again, you're going to be pleasantly surprised with the battery life on the A7 Pro. Now, someone asked me in the comments, was there any issues with the battery in terms of it wake locks late at night when I'm asleep? Is it chewing up lots of battery? And my answer is no. If I wasn't using the device, it was just a slow 
trickle of a discharge from the battery. And if I was using it a lot, it was still relatively slow as well. Easily a two day battery life. Screen on time was at least five hours without fail. Look, I'm not big on screen on time because my goal is not to stare at my phone all day. But I do want to be able to get through at least a full day and two days is even better. And on the Yuma Digi A7 Pro, I was getting at least two days battery life. Even with lots of heavy photo use and gaming, and if I wasn't using it a lot for photography or gaming, then I was getting a lot more than two days, even pushing towards three. There is no issues with the A7 Pro when it comes to battery life. My conclusion is that the A7 Pro is a real value for money option. Remember, it's 180 bucks. If you can name a phone that outdoes it in this price range, let me know and I'll review that too. But I really do think the Human Digi A7 Pro is punching above its weight. That's it. Thank you for watching my review on the Human Digi A7 Pro. Remember, links down below if you are interested in picking one up. I really appreciate all your support on the channel. Thank you, and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.